Max Planck, a name synonymous with the birth of quantum physics, was a man of intriguing contradictions. A staunch conservative, he found himself at the forefront of a revolution that shattered classical physics. His work on blackbody radiation led him to propose the quantization of energy. Planck was initially hesitant to accept the implications of his discoveries. He viewed his quanta as mere mathematical conveniences, yet the seeds of a profound shift in scientific thought had been sown. The universe was not the smooth continuous realm envisioned by classical physics. It was a realm where energy came in discrete packets, tiny bundles of existence. Planck's work laid the foundation for a new era in physics dominated by uncertainty and probability. Planck, the reluctant revolutionary, had opened a door to a universe stranger and more wondrous than anyone could have imagined. I regard consciousness as fundamental. I regard matter as derivative from consciousness. This statement, made by the father of quantum physics, stands in stark contrast to the materialistic worldview that had dominated science for centuries. It's a statement that seems more at home in the mystical traditions of the East than in the cold, hard world of physics. For Planck, the implications of quantum theory extended far beyond the realm of atoms and particles. He saw in the observer effect the strange influence of observation on quantum systems, a profound clue to the nature of reality itself. If consciousness could influence the behavior of matter at the most fundamental level, could it be that consciousness was not a mere byproduct of matter but rather a fundamental aspect of the universe? This radical idea challenged the very foundations of scientific materialism. It suggested that the universe was not a cold, indifferent machine, but rather a realm where mind and matter were intimately intertwined. A universe, perhaps, that was itself in some sense conscious. The observer effect, a cornerstone of quantum mechanics, remains one of the most perplexing and debated aspects of the theory. It suggests that the act of observation, of measurement, can profoundly affect the state of a quantum system. A particle exists in a superposition of states, a blurry cloud of possibilities, until the act of observation collapses the wave function, forcing it to choose a definite state. Planck, a man of deep religious faith, saw in this quantum strangeness a reflection of a divine mind. If the act of observation, of conscious awareness, could influence the fabric of reality at the quantum level, could it be that the universe itself was the product of a cosmic observer, a divine mind whose thoughts were the very substance of existence? This idea, while speculative, resonated with Planck's own spiritual beliefs. It offered a tantalizing glimpse of a universe where science and spirituality were not separate domains, but rather intertwined aspects of a deeper truth. The universe, in Planck's view, was not a meaningless accident, but rather a creation imbued with purpose and intelligence. Planck's emphasis on the primacy of consciousness finds surprising echoes in ancient spiritual traditions. In the ancient Indian philosophy of Vedanta, for instance, consciousness is considered the fundamental reality, the ground of all being. The material world, in this view, is but a manifestation of this underlying consciousness. Similarly, in various mystical traditions, the universe is often envisioned as the emanation of a divine mind, a cosmic consciousness that permeates all things. Planck's ideas, while rooted in the rigor of scientific inquiry, seem to converge on this ancient wisdom, suggesting a common thread that runs through both scientific and spiritual exploration. This convergence is not to say that science has somehow proven the tenets of any particular religion. Rather, it suggests that the deeper we delve into the mysteries of the universe, the more we are forced to confront questions that lie at the intersection of science, philosophy, and spirituality. Now let's talk about panpsychism. 
Planck's ideas about consciousness have found a modern resonance in the philosophy of panpsychism. Panpsychism, in its various forms, proposes that consciousness is not limited to complex biological systems like ourselves, but is rather a fundamental property of the universe, present in some form in even the most elementary particles. While panpsychism remains a minority view within the scientific community, it has gained increasing attention in recent years. Fueled in part by the ongoing mysteries of consciousness, and the strange implications of quantum mechanics. Could it be that the universe is not just filled with matter and energy, but also with a fundamental mind stuff that underpins our own conscious experience? Planck himself did not explicitly endorse panpsychism, but his emphasis on the primacy of consciousness aligns with the core tenets of this ancient philosophy. It suggests a universe where mind and matter are not separate entities, but rather two sides of the same coin. Planck's universe is an interconnected and intelligent universe. The universe, as envisioned by Planck, is a far cry from the cold, indifferent machine envisioned by classical physics. It's a universe where consciousness plays a fundamental role where the observer is not separate from the observed, and where the very act of observation can influence the fabric of reality. This is a universe that invites us to reconsider our place within it. We are not isolated observers, separate from the grand cosmic drama. We are participants in a vast interconnected web of being, where our thoughts, our actions, and our very presence have the potential to influence the unfolding of the cosmos. Planck's universe is a universe imbued with a sense of wonder and mystery. It's a universe that challenges us to expand our understanding of what it means to be human, to be alive, and to be a part of something far grander than ourselves. So what is his legacy? Max Planck, the reluctant revolutionary, left behind a legacy that extends far beyond the equations and the theories. He opened a doorway to a universe stranger and more wondrous than anyone could have imagined. A universe where consciousness plays a fundamental role and where the boundaries between mind and matter blur. His work continues to inspire physicists, philosophers and spiritual seekers alike, urging us to explore the uncharted territories of knowledge to question our assumptions, and to embrace the mysteries that still lie hidden at the heart of existence. Planck's legacy is a reminder that the greatest scientific discoveries often lead us to confront the deepest questions of existence. They remind us that the universe is not a collection of separate disciplines, but rather a tapestry of interconnected wonders waiting to be explored with both the rigor of science and the openness of a childlike sense of awe. The Universe in a Grain of Consciousness Max Planck, the father of quantum physics, suggested that consciousness, not matter, might be the fundamental stuff of the universe. He saw in the quantum world hints of a divine mind shaping reality. Planck's ideas offer a glimpse into a universe where science and spirituality intertwine. They invite us to explore consciousness and consider the universe as conscious. As we explore the cosmos, we remember Planck's legacy. To see a world in a grain of sand and a heaven in a wildflower. Hold infinity in the palm of your hand and eternity in an hour.